Hello guys, welcome back to another video on Hatch TV. Now today it's Luton Town versus Leighton Orient. Now, Leighton Orient can get relegated today if we beat them. But if we do beat them, that means we've won three games in a row, which is the first time which we've done that this season. Now, we've won two games in a row. First game, Blackpool. Second game, Barnet. Now today we are playing Leighton Orient, who obviously are going to get relegated if we do beat them. This time it'll be the first time this season we have won three games like in a row in the season. Today we don't have Oli Palmer, and which has been a little bit disappointing because the last two appearances which he's he has come off the bench, he's done really well, he's made the impact, and yeah, we've gone on to win the game. But when Oli Palmer comes on, Nathan Jones ends up switching the formation into a 4-4-2 and I've noticed this the last two games when he changed it to a 4-4-2 we've gone on to win the game now hopefully he actually starts with a 4-4-2 formation today Lawson Diaf has been on really good form recently and I've liked the fact that um, he's come into the team now because now we're seeing a little bit more about him because before he weren't really getting any game time Leighton Orient's like, owner has been, has been kind of been like a dick um, with the fans, been, been a dick with the club, and like I do feel sorry for their fans. Obviously, no one wants to be under this situation where your owner is hating on your club and all this, not paying anything. You don't want to be under that type of thing, sacking the managers. You don't like that. We, I know we've had, well, we haven't really had it in the past, but other clubs have had it. Coventry are having it now. They look like they're going to get relegated into League Two. It's just so many clubs are having problems with their owners, and I'm so glad that we are a fan-owned club. Otherwise, I it would be really bad if we won. But anyway, we need to win today. Hopefully, we can. Also, I've got some good news. At half time, I will be on. I'll be going on the pitch to do the half time like hot shots. I think that's what they call it. So hopefully, I can get that in the vlog as well. But anyway, guys. Come on, you out is let's get the three points against Leighton Orient. Right, if you don't know what half time hot shots is, it's basically like at half time, it's like a board with one point, three points, five points. I think you get like three attempts to try and get the ball in like into these holes in the in the board. Whoever gets the most points between I think it's three of us who take part in it, gets like two free tickets for the next game. So hopefully I don't embarrass myself and hopefully I can just get a point. I'd be happy with I'd be happy with three points, because knowing my football ability, I'm not that good. But anyway, hopefully Luton can win today, and I don't embarrass myself in front of 7,000 supporters.
James just... So, I've just got back home from the game. What went wrong today? Um, Nathan Jones' decision-making with the team lineup was poor yet again. We win two games on the bounce and he changes the team. He put Jordan Cook back in from injury and then he got himself injured even more. Um, he dropped O'Donnell. In my opinion, that was a good decision because O'Donnell, well, I don't really like O'Donnell. He had a poor game last week, so I understand why O'Donnell was dropped. But to put Jack Marriott in, who's out of form, was a poor decision. And he dropped Vassell. I didn't understand that whatsoever because Vassell, like... Is performing so much better than Marriott is at the moment. But yet, he started Marriott and put Vassell on the bench. Just so he, he can rest him. Poor decision. So that was the first thing what went wrong. So that was the first thing what went wrong. Um, second thing was defensively we were poor. Lack of leadership yet again from Cuthbert. Too many times this season we've conceded a goal. And as the captain, Scott Cuthbert has done nothing. And he keeps doing that. This is why I believe we need to sign a captain next season. I don't know about the penalty which was given. Like from where I was, like obviously sitting, it looked like Glen Ray. It hit the ball and it hit Glen Ray's chest. That from where I was sitting. So I don't know because it was on the other end of the pitch. I don't really know. I know Leighton Orient fans were screaming for penalty, and so were their players, but. I, did, oh, I need to watch it again to give another opinion on it. This, their second goal, which Leighton Orient scored, was poorly defended. It's disappointing because we've like conceded so many soft goals this season. But anyway, we've got to move on. The only good thing about today was that I was on the pitch at halftime. I was the one in a blue jacket and wearing blue jeans. I was doing the halftime hot shots at halftime on the pitch. And I ended up winning as well. So I got three points. And I ended up getting two free tickets for the game against Notts County. But um, I spoke to a steward and the steward gave me £20 for the two tickets. So I ended up coming home £20 richer. So all round a point and getting £20 richer for me was okay. But I'm, I am going to Mansfield on Monday. But I think playoffs next season will be a lot better for us. I don't think we're strong enough. We're not being consistent enough. We haven't won three games in a row all season. We don't deserve to go up, in all honesty. But anyway, we've got to keep supporting the, like, the team. We've got to keep going. And yeah, so if you did enjoy this vlog, guys, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Comment down below if you did see me on the pitch at halftime and your opinions on the game. Don't forget to subscribe to Hatters TV, and I'll see you guys in the next video.